My name is Natasha and today I'm going to be demonstrating the step-by-step -step teeth whitening procedure on our lovely model Chantel. Hello, Natasha here and I'm going to go over some of our teeth whitening tools and accessories. The first thing I'm going to start with is the remote control. This remote control is included in the teeth whitening machine system. You can also purchase replacement remote controls online on our website www.myteethwhiteningbusiness.com the program also includes led goggles to prevent you from getting led exposure two goggles are included to protect both you and the client citrus 2 is the hospital level disinfectant that we use to sanitize disinfect and clean all materials we cleanse everything with this solution prior to having the client come into the treatment area and we also use it to clean the environment when we are complete with the client's treatment. This is one of our favorite products. It's the Tooth Shade Guide. It is a continuum of teeth whitening colors that you can review with your client prior to and after the teeth whitening process. Basically how we use this tool is that before the treatment, we work with the client to identify where she is on the continuum. So let's say she is a S24. Our guarantee is that she will see an improvement in shade up to three to five shades. So a person starting with an S24, for example, would be expected to go as far as an S14. This is a critical tool when working with clients because you want to have an objective reading of where they were before the treatment and where they are after the treatment. Our next product are our kits, peroxide gel teeth whitening kits. What's great about this product is that it includes everything you need to perform a teeth whitening treatment on a client. a bib, which is two-sided. The paper side is upward, whereas the plastic side is on the back as a barrier. One pair of gloves, because we wanna never have direct contact with the client or the client's mouth. A gel pen. This blue gel is used as a gum line protectant to ensure that the client's gum line is not burned during the teeth whitening treatment. A cheek retractor, which is used to keep the client's mouth wide open for the teeth whitening treatment.
And last but not least, a peroxide gel pen. These pens are especially strong because they offer the highest whitening solution on the market, which at this time is 28%, which will guarantee strong client results. This is a product that we've newly introduced. Along with the cheek retractor, this product is used to help prop the client's mouth open during the teeth whitening process. This plastic tray can be purchased at any kind of dollar store or discount convenience store, but it's something convenient to keep all of your treatment tools in while you're working on the client. Obviously, this should be sterilized between clients as well. The program also includes a client waiver or consent form. This form is critical when working with clients to protect both you and the client. This form is included in the full package as well. We're proud to have recently introduced home teeth whitening kits to be sold as aftercare to in-office or in-salon teeth whitening clients. We recommend that you retail this product to your client as an aftercare product. It includes very simple directions with the picture. And basically, this is the ideal product to recommend to your client for aftercare. It's a lighter peroxide gel solution that she can use at home for only 10 minutes a day. This is our portable teeth whitening machine. As you can see, it is in fact portable and mobile. It's on wheels. The gooseneck bends. so that the LED light is directly in front of the client's mouth. This is called a mouth sheath. It's replaceable across clients. You remove it, sanitize it, and you can reuse it. Here we have an up button. The up button is to increase the time. The down button is to decrease the treatment time. The start stop button and then the pause button. You can use the machine here at the terminal, or you can utilize the remote control which comes with the machine. Okay, so the first thing that we all want to be aware of as beauty professionals, as teeth whitening professionals, is our physicality and our space. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, of course, is tie my hair back. And today, before I started on set, I went out of my way and paid special attention to sanitize the entire environment for the client. Before we started today, I disinfected the entire environment with our solution that we use. The solution that we use for disinfecting all products is called Citrus 2. Citrus 2 is a hospital level disinfectant that's used to kill all viruses and bacteria on surfaces. So this is used before and after working on any clients. In addition to sanitizing the environment, as you can see, I've tied my hair back. Next, I'm gonna remove all jewelry. So you wanna really be working on your clients in a very clean and neutral space. One important factor in dealing with clients at all times is informing them of what they're signing up for. So we have a full-fledged teeth whitening consent that the client can sign prior to commencing the teeth whitening process. So it's very important when working with clients to have them complete the consent form so that you are free from any possible liabilities. So please read over the form um, and then, you know, you can ask me any questions that you might have. Okay, sweetheart, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, just a couple. Okay. Um, so before I came here today, I had like a little sandwich to eat, like a breakfast sandwich. So okay. That okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. We're going to have you brush your teeth before you start the process. Uh, and drinking was okay as well, too. Yeah, that's fine. You're human. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else? 
and um, that I have a retainer in the back of my mouth. No, that's and fine. In the back of my teeth. Yeah, it won't impact the retainer. We're going to bleach the front side of your teeth. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is measure your teeth right now to see where you're at. Okay. The next very critical tool we have here is the tooth shade guide. The shade guide is the tool we use when working with clients to figure out where they are on the teeth whitening spectrum. We want to be sure to get an accurate reading of where the client is now so that we can compare that to the client's after results. It's very critical that we get an accurate reading of where the client is today, now, before we start the procedure so that we can compare her results to her before, okay? So what we'll do is have the client kind of help us and we'll say, okay, where do you think you're at on this continuum? Um, so you want to kind of figure out, um, you're definitely on the wider side around here. -ish. Yeah, so probably like, maybe like, maybe like S10 or S8. <laughs> okay, so now it's really critical that you get a good reading because what you're telling your client is that you're promising three to five shades wider. So upon the completion of this process, we need to be able to see that we've whitened the client's teeth three to five shades. So if we look at, can you kind of just open up for me? So do you drink wine or anything or? Okay, I think yes. you're about here. <laughs> okay, so Chantel has pretty white teeth. So Chantel has pretty white teeth. She's coming in at an S10, okay? So there's still space to whiten her. Each client package is individually wrapped so that everything you need to work on a client is already contained inside of this package. This package contains one individually wrapped single use kit for professional use only. Each kit contains one cheek retractor, one peroxide gel pen, one pair of gloves, one gel protectant, and one dental bib. Please store this kit in a cool, dry place. It's critical that you store these kits in a cool, dry place at about 70 degrees. So one thing that I wanna point out, um, we're filming this right now in spring 2020 amidst the COVID-19 outbreak, is that it's very critical for your clients to see you using single use items, to be using gloves, and to see you sanitizing the environment. Um, because not only is it, you know, their perceived concerns, it's in fact a real concern. So we're gonna put on our gloves, okay? Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is drape our model. Okay, so you're gonna notice that the bib has two different sides. One is a paper side and one is a plastic side. The paper side is supposed to be on the top and it's paper so it's absorbent to absorb any saliva that drips from her mouth. And the, pla the other side is plastic to protect her clothing. Okay. After we apply the bib, we do what I call a visual oral examination. Remember, you're not a dentist, you can't diagnose, you can't prescribe, but before we start this procedure, although we reviewed her consent form, we want to just do a visual check to make sure we don't see anything um, that looks loose, anything like a cavity um, or any kind of um, food residue in her teeth or anything. We want to make sure we have a clean surface to work on. So prior to commencing the process, she had brushed her teeth. Open up. Okay. Her teeth look great. You can also ask the client, okay, when was the last time you had a cleaning? Because we typically recommend, um, because this is a cosmetic service, we typically recommend that the client be in good oral hygiene prior to completing this process. Okay. So next we have our gel pen. We have to remove the top and apply the application nozzle. Pretty easy. So what is the role of this blue gel? This gel is possibly the most important product, even more important than the gel. Why? Because this blue gel is going to be what protects the client's gum line from getting burned, right? We're going to apply this gel using the pointy end right along her gum line to protect her gums from the peroxide gel. 
The peroxide gel that we're going to be using today is 28% peroxide, which is among the strongest in the market. So we want to make sure that her gum line is completely protected and covered. Okay, after we apply the gel, we're going to let the gel sit for 15 minutes under the LED light so it can harden before we apply the peroxide gel. Okay. So next we have this device, which is called the cheek retractor. Okay, they come in different sizes, small, medium, large. We use a one size fits all. The retractor can be installed this way or this way, up or down, okay? Okay, so you can ask the client to assist you install the cheek retractor, but it's pretty much a painless process. Okay, so open wide for me. So you slide it in, and then you put it in like that. Is it in? Okay, if you have a difficult time placing it in, you can always ask the client to assist you by holding her own cheek like she can pull it over. Okay, another tool we've implemented to assist with this process are these pieces of cotton gauze. Why? Because like Chantel, right, we need to whiten the entire tooth. So her lip is covering her teeth over here. So we're going to put this extra cotton. to make sure her lip does not get in the way. Okay, so one thing I wanna make sure <laughs> is that this is evenly installed, right? So how this part is sticking out, put this up here. Okay. So I want you to notice how critical it was for me to add that piece of cotton because if I didn't put that piece in, her lip would be covering her tooth. It's very important that I use the cotton gauze here to lift her lip so that we had access to her, the, the upper part of her upper teeth. What we would have risked is not whitening her upper teeth or burning her lip. So we want to get any skin out of the way. Looking at her bottom teeth, I see the same thing where she could use a small piece here. All clients will not need the cotton gauze. It's something that you use as needed. What we're gonna do next is apply the blue gel along the gum line. Typically the client can tilt her head back to kind of assist you. You kind of gotta squeeze the little to get it going. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Now, I want to emphasize, if you do not fully and completely cover her gum line, the gel is going to penetrate and burn. This is a, a common issue. So you really want to make sure you do a complete job of covering this gum line. So I'm gonna apply it once and then I'm gonna just go over my work to make sure I see nothing that's exposed. Now obviously you don't do every tooth in the person's mouth, but you want to do everything that you can access that's visible. So I've completely applied the gel, so I'm just kind of visually reviewing my work, making sure everything's in place. Okay, so next we're gonna use a Q-tip and we're just gonna clean up our gel work. Why? Because we don't want gel to cover the tooth surface, only the gum line. So all the excessive gel, I'm just gonna wipe it off with the Q-tip. So even without doing anything to the gel, I can slowly see it's starting to settle in place and get hard, which is what we want. 
So I'm just gonna go over an area or two. Remember the focus of the blue gel is protection. Next, we're gonna get our lovely machine started. It's just sliding. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is set our machine for 15 minutes and have the blue gel harden. So it's critical that we put the mouthpiece of the teeth whitening machine directly against her teeth. Okay, so now that we have the machine right at her teeth, we're going to put on the LED goggles to protect her. And then I also put on my goggles to protect me from the LED lighting. Showtime. So now we've allowed 15 minutes for the gel to harden, so we're going to proceed with applying the peroxide gel to her teeth. This is the gel pen. I need to turn it some. And then the gel will begin to spot out. While there's enough gel in here to do two or three applications, it's intended for single use.
Okay, so we fully coated the teeth and now we're gonna proceed. One question we often get is about how long your client should be under the light. It totally depends on how you wanna set your program up. Some students offer the program for one 30 minute session. Some students offer the client two 30 minute sessions back to back. Some people offer the client an hour long session and some people offer 45 minutes. It totally depends on what you feel comfortable with and what price point you wanna offer the client the service at. In terms of when the client can return, typically we tell the client that they can return as often as once a month to get their teeth whitened. So we're gonna go ahead now and set her up for a 30 minute session. So with the remote control, we can change the time on the machine and get her going. So you do wanna monitor the client just to make sure her clothes aren't saturated or anything and she's okay. If there's any excess saliva, you can go ahead and wipe it. Okay, that beep lets us know that we have one minute left. How you doing? Okay, so she's officially done now. So we're going to move this out of the way. And piece by piece, we're going to remove the pieces and put them directly into the trash can, okay? <laughs> Next we're going to give Chantel some toothpaste and a toothbrush so she can brush her teeth just to remove the blue gel from her gum line and any residual peroxide gel. Okay, let's look at your results. Wow, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so let's measure you and see where you're at. I definitely see, I put you at an S4. So almost the whitest of the whitest, okay? We definitely moved up. Thank you. Okay, doll, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up with you. Here are your aftercare instructions that you can follow. Um, typically, we let our clients know that you can come back once a month, so you can come see us in 30 days if you're interested. Just follow those directions there and you're set. Okay, and um, I have just a couple questions. Okay. Um, when can I eat, like after this? Okay, you wanna just wait one hour to eat and you wanna Avoid any foods with um, dyes in them or that have strong colors. So any tomato soups, any red wines, any kind of coffees, <laughs> um, you want to avoid those things. And um, I have I had Invisalign previously, so I have like the retainers that's just made. Like, is it okay safe to like put them on after? Yeah, you can wear your retainer immediately. Okay. And I don't know if you smoke, you want to refrain from smoking for at least um, an hour to 30 minutes. And again, any like red wine or coffee you want to refrain from. Okay, and any specific foods? Um, just the red wine, the coffees, maybe even any colas, anything that's dark in color. Okay. Because right now the pores of your teeth are open, so they would especially absorb any color that you put onto the surface. Okay. So you just want to avoid any dark liquids or foods for about an hour. And drink plenty of water. Milk is also good because it's, you know, white. Okay. 
Okay, the last thing I wanted to give you was an aftercare kit. We currently offer aftercare home kits. Super easy to use, 10 minutes a day, just to help with the maintenance of your teeth. Um, it's the little gel kit, it's not super strong. Use it for 10 minutes a day, right before bed or when you wake up and get ready for work. Okay. And um, you'll love it. Thank you. <laughs>